budgie smugglers, it saddens me that Cardinal George Pell, my spiritual advisor, has had to appear before the Royal Commission into child sex abuse. Can't they just leave this poor bloke alone? Hasn't he been through enough? He's actually flat out in Rome as Jesus' personal accountant. Now, isn't that enough proof to everyone that he's beyond reproach? He's there, counting the Vatican's cash. One squillion, two squillion, three squillion. Then he gets interrupted by a video call uh, from Australia because some people say they were abused by members of the clergy that he was responsible for. So then he's going to start all over again. One squillion, two squillion. I mean, wouldn't it drive you batty? As an accountant, uh, he's entirely within his rights to, to compare, as he has done, the church to a trucking company. Uh, at least in terms of the moral responsibility the uh, owners uh, of the church should bear for the actions of their employees. <laughs> that is, clearly, none. Even though what the church is actually trucking is moral responsibility. I mean, I don't see a connection there. Now, give this bloke a break. <laughs> He's done everything he can to minimise the financial impact of this kind of thing on the church. And no, Jesus may have turned water into wine, but uh, not even he could get blood from a stone. <laughs> Though he probably could. Any, anyhow, keep trucking, George. <laughs> She'll be right.